iOS 12 is out. It's making old phones faster. It's got a whole bunch of new amazing features, including one called shortcuts. Now, if you're an Instagram user, you're going to find shortcuts invaluable because what I'm about to teach you is going to save you so much time, hassle and energy. <laughs> Let's get our phone up here. So what we're going to do is create a shortcut that basically is going to allow you to pick a picture that you want to post on Instagram. It's going to copy a whole bunch of hashtags that you specify, and it's going to post a whole lot to Instagram all from just one or two taps on your phone. This is really easy to do. We're in the shortcuts app. The first thing that we need to do is select create shortcut. So the first step here is we're going to put in the first command, which is going to be called choose from menu. This is in the scripting menu, by the way. We're going to edit these just by tapping on them. I'm going to call this sunrise and I'm going to call the second one waterfall. So now we've built out our menu, but what happens when we tap each of these options? Well, this is where your hashtags come in. So I'm going to look for text. So let's put in a text field here. And what we need to do first is we need to drag the text field simply by tapping on it. I'm going to drag it up underneath sunrise. So if I tap sunrise, it's going to look at this text field. Now we're going to put some text into the text field because what else would we put into it? And I've got a bunch of hashtags saved out as a note that I use for Instagram, which you should be doing. It's good practice. So I'm going to my notes. I've got a bunch of sunrise tags, which I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste these in. And I'm going to select done. So now for the next part, I'm just going to add the waterfall hashtags that I've got. Also again into a text field. So I'm going to scroll up here and I'm going to select all of my waterfall hashtags. Now we need another text field. So I'm just going to type text back into the search option here. And I'm also going to drag this underneath waterfall. Now I'm going to paste in my waterfall hashtags. I'm going to select done down here. So the next step is to have the select photos option. So we can type it in here, select photos. We're not going to select multiple photos because we're only going to put up one photo. And then the final piece that we put in here, see how easy is this, is post on Instagram. So just to review, we've created a menu with a number of options that are linked to a text field, which has got the hashtags. And then the end menu, select photos. And then in the caption, we can put in the menu result. And then done. So that's our shortcut, it's built. So I'm gonna select the menu icon up here. I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it post to Instagram. We can have an icon. And there is an Instagram icon, by the way. So we can find this in Glyph and services. Let's scroll over and find Instagram. There we go. Select done, select done again. Now that's more or less our shortcut build. So let's select done. So now you can find this back in the shortcuts app, or if you swipe to the right, you can find it in the shortcuts widget. So I'm gonna select post to Instagram. So now we have a number of options, which we've made sunrise or waterfall. So I'm gonna select sunrise. It's allowing me to pick a picture. So I'm gonna pick this one. It's now opening Instagram. We can post it to the story or we can post it to our feed. So I'm gonna select feed. I'm gonna select next next and then our caption all we have to do is paste in our hashtags because they're copied to the clipboard and share and that's it how useful and easy is that to create a shortcut to make your instagram posts so much more efficient and it's going to save you so much hassle let me know what you think in the comments if you've got a good idea for a shortcut maybe you can build it out or if you do or if you've used this one how did you find it Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We will see you on the next episode of the vlog. And until then, don't stop fighting for yourself.